historically, summer actually was kind of a slow time in the market, especially mm-hmm. August. It felt right. like everybody would go on vacation in August because it was the last kind of few weeks before school started up again. Right. Do you see that trend coming back? I definitely think summer is slower and is not my choice if I had a seller saying, when do you think is a good time to go on the market? I right. would not say, hey, let's kick it off 4th of July. You know, right. like this is a great time because we say it's showtime, right? You're, right. you're, you're putting this thing out and there's no audience. Like where, where are the people? Right. But obviously circumstances happen and, you know, you you have to get the house ready and it just drags on and, and now it's summer. Right. People are still here. And if you're a buyer, you're going to buy. Right. Your agent's going to call you. If you're in Hawaii, you're going to send them video. Right. You know, it happens all the time. They're not yeah. even here to see the property. Right. That's something that's changed too, is people yeah. have gotten more comfortable with kind of the technology. Well, they're so smart. The, yeah. I feel like the buyers are so smart now where they've educated themselves so much with all the technology yeah. and the videoing and the, you know, 3D floor plans and all that. It right. really does help. So, yeah, I think also, you know, people that are moving either city to city, so whether it's Hermosa to Manhattan or vice versa, or coming into this area, right? you're buying, you want to close before what? So, end of August because right. you need to right. get your kid into that district for right. schools. Just hasn't been like that for the last no, couple of years. No, it hasn't. But I feel like the seasonal markets are coming back. 